I wish I could remember. She said something this morning and she actually used a word and it wasn't annoying, but that's one of them. I mean, it's nice to not go to school for a day, um, but then I have to sit here for like three hours on end listening to doctors talk about medications. She was getting bored in the appointments because they're asking the same questions. You know, like um, potassium levels and sodium and stuff like that. So. You're getting a different kind of education, right? Uh, yeah. <laughs> I guess I can't really escape it. I had like 32 five absent days last year because most of them were like coming here. Um, I usually talk about um, what's going on with school and um, stuff that's happened like whether it's good stuff, bad stuff, stressful stuff, funny stuff. I mean, I really talk about it, anything and everything. And we talk about ways to kind of manage my anxiety and talk about what it'll be like after transplant. Some of the things that we've learned over the last little while is, you know, any surgery is, you know, there's risks that come with surgery. I mean, they've told me everything. Doesn't matter whether you've, you've sliced your arm, Oh, you know, on the playground or or this, it's, you know, there's always the risks that come with surgery. Just because it's like that way for somebody else, it doesn't mean that everyone's going to have the same transplant reaction or going to have a successful transplant. Um, because she'll be uh, so immunosuppressed as any transplant patient, renal or, or lung or any heart um, would be, then um, she she's uh, susceptible to a lot of things. It could reject like anywhere to like an hour, a week, a day. You never really know. They have to tell you everything and you know it's like a medicine bottle and you know when you pick up your prescription you probably would never pop a pill if you actually read all the possible side effects. So that part's kind of a stressful process. Especially with transplant medication, it's every 12 hours, so it's very exact and very precisely on time. And if you miss it, it's, it could be a big deal. I guess I'm just kind of stressed about the three days a week. I already don't, I don't like coming here once a week. I don't want to be here three times a week for a long, long time. And it's like a few weeks of that, so it's not going to be the best, but I, I can stick through it. So goes it, right? <laughs> uh, I know I'll probably feel better after the transplant. I've heard from people that it's really helpful. Like, it, you, you can just think better. You can, like, a, a lot of people, like, done better in school. And they said it just like there was a fog, but it's not there anymore. I think that no matter whether what the, whether it's renal failure or um, other chronic conditions or even just a normal kid that it's one day at a time and sometimes even one moment at a time and if they're in a panic attack then it's literally one moment and how do we get through this and I've learned not to pile things on um, and okay I just asked you to get dressed Okay, that's one thing, and then we'll then we'll do your pills, and then we'll kind of go from there. But you know, it's just one thing, one thing, one moment at a time. And all right, what's the next thing? So that's what that's what I would tell. I mean, everybody has to go on their own journey and figure things out, but that's what has worked for me, and I think for her father as well. <laughs> I mean, renal appointments are long, transplant appointments are long. But especially if you have anxiety or 
like ongoing stress, it can be a really hard thing to get through. But in the long run, you'll feel better and it'll be worth it when you can just do all these normal things that you see other kids do and not have to take medications anymore and not have to be hooked up to a machine and just, you know, live your own life. And just the fact that you're gonna get through it no matter what.